Files. Press start to begin. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Super Bonus Round. We are back with more Final Fantasy VII Remake. I'm your host, John Mugiwara Jam, joined as always by my co host, Rich Rainwizard767. Uh, poor Dreamcast, this world, world was never made for edit for what is beautiful as you disc grinding noises. <laughs> Jesus. That was a Simpsons Bort posting meme. Oh, uh, yeah, that, 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 that page that has all the, these cursed. Simpsons memes are just They are just memes. too fucking good. You cannot deny it. They are too fucking good. Yeah, it just feels like whoever's running it is slowly descending to madness and uh, honestly here for it. Well, we said the same thing about Doug episodes, so... <laughs> yeah, and then he stopped posting entirely. The last yeah. post I remember him posting is he just posted the word Doug with an N in it, so it said Dung. Dung. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, we're in my we're in one of my least favorite parts of this game, so hopefully I'd like to finish this part this episode. But in the past the time, Rich, you were still telling us about your trip. Yes, so um So going into Monday of my uh trip, um we obviously went to um Wait, hang on a second. Apparently there is a manga with the longest title finally found. Do you care or not? I'm I'm curious. You might as well tell me. All right. So the title is, and here we go. I became a slave in another world, peen, and to make matters worse, my master is a black-hearted elf queen. But she's super hot. Note, very important. I'm pretty useless, so I'm getting barked at left, right, and center. But the orc I'm rooming with is full of good vibes. And the elf in the village is pretty cute, too. So, on the whole, I have to say that I'm actually quite enjoying myself here. <laughs> that just sounds like someone that was like listening to me talk when they were asking me for a title. And they, instead of just making a title off of what I said, they just wrote down everything I said. And it says, no need for synopsis. <laughs> synopsis? The synopsis is the title. I think we're good. <laughs> but apparently this is a legit title. God, I don't think you can even abbreviate that and make it better. No, you can't. <laughs> you can't. It's just not possible. I think he, my master is a black hearted elk queen, but she's super hot. Note, very important. <laughs> Note very important. <laughs> note. That oh like my note. god! Like note, like note, like that's yes. like a, a note. Note very the important. Thing, the only thing I got to say to that, and this is one of my favorite ones to use whenever I see something that makes my brain hurt to read it. Godzilla had a stroke trying to read this and died, fucking died. <laughs> I had a stroke just listening yeah, to that. that, and you fucking died. <laughs> and, they're okay. just, and, and they're carting him off on a wheelbarrow. <laughs> This sucks. I have three kids and no money. Why can't I have no kids and three money? <laughs> <laughs> I have no kids and three money. <laughs> I have three dollars. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> Why can't I have no kids and three money? <laughs> does he actually say that? or is yes. This the yes, he does. He does say that. I remember it. It's an old episode. This is my least favorite part of the game, and you can see why. Okay, we need to we need to shut off at least two sun lamps to proceed. I'm just trying to find the path to the next one. We can't use the this. Wait, can we? Error. Insufficient nope. Power. Oh no! Oh boy. Oh. Wait, I thought you were gonna continue the Disney story. Oh uh, yeah, I... Hang on, I'm, I'm, there's just so much happening here! More than there is here. Wait, was this oh, dude oh, oh, legit? Oh. Was it... Was this dude legit? Wow. This dude yeah, was legit trying to get people, like, laying down in the middle of the road, trying to get people to run him over. 
Which way to the next life? And of course it's in Tom's River. Nope, no fucking sh Oh my god. At least we know where the big ass thing Oh is. dear god. Of course in in, Jer in Jersey. Of course. Why, why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised? Anyway. I would also so, accept Florida. Now this this legit was in Jersey. It was in Tom's River. Why are you trying why are you trying to get run over? Why? Wait, did this uh, just happen? No, no, this happened a while ago, apparently. I'm just seeing a video of it now. Um Oh, anyway. Kind of like how I saw the the Waffle House girl uh, video late. Oh my god, that was just so amazing. Yeah, but too bad she got blacklisted by the company though. Wait, what? Yeah, she got fired. Fucking. And yet, but at, yeah, everybody knows. Everybody knows what it means to go to Waffle House. It's like, yeah, do you realize that your entire? Do you realize that your entire? Company is known for fist fights and waffles at three in the morning. It's like yeah, your your shit's known for fist fights and waffles at three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it, it is a shame. That's a win. Get your ass out of here. Because you're expecting the service industry to just fucking take it. No, I'm not advocating to, for start, starting uh, fights, but if, but if someone attacks you, it's like, well, what are you going to do? I hate doing this. Well, you came back at a good time. And that makes two Yay. Meaning we've only got one left. The end's in sight, y'all. Should be able to climb down from here. Uh, this is a hole, right? That's the Sector 4 slums down there? Huh? You want to check them out sometime? I can show you around. We'll check them out now if we fall. John Eric Bentley is a uh, Barrett in this game is perfect. The power's on. All right, is this is the scene I, I, I mentioned coming up? It, this particular uh, line from Barrett that cracks me up every time I hear it is whenever you go on one of these lift things. Come on, do it. I was just so you know, John. Um, apparently, adult, adult Momonosuke from One Piece will be voiced by Hiro Shimono. Yeah, I just watched the episode before we started recording today. While I was waiting for the uh, podcast episode to get fixed, Hiro yeah. Shimono. That name sounds familiar. He's the voice actor of Zenitsu from Demon Slayer, Dobby from My Hero, and Connie from Attack on Titan. Ah, uh, all shows I watched in English. <laughs> So, anywho, we're right back where we started. Hmm. Where was that last light again? Over here, because this, uh, because now that we turned two sun lamps off, we can use this lift. Come on, Barrett, do it. Almost done. It's a shame we had to wander around so much. Well, no stamps here to guide us. No Jesse or Wes to battle up neither. Yeah. Speaking of which, what should we tell Biggs? I don't want him to worry. Yeah, it's just there's a incidental line that Barrett does that if you go on uh, one of these um, lift things, I don't want to miss it. Wait, he does something? I don't want to ruin it. Okay. It's a surprise. It's something he doesn't do any other point in the game. If there's no viable path, we'll just have to make one. Oh, dear God. What? <laughs> so, you know what the big thing that has been... been on my timeline for like the last 24 hours? What? About the one public service person, i.e. police officer, who... 
Uh, basically, had a train ran on her. Um. You Did you be hear? a bit more specific? No, I, I didn't hear about this at all. Okay, so apparently, a female police officer in Tennessee had a train ran on her by her four co-workers by her four uh, co-workers who were also police officers and they all got fired because of it because she train, she had a train, train ran, ran on her by these by these guys oh wait i think i know what you mean by had it god damn it yes she had yet 18 plus cannot describe with her co-workers on the clock and they all got fired including her so not work not work appropriate relations let's say yes so and of course the world of punters was 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 quick to react thank you for your cervix oh god damn it that's mean oh the internet has has been ruthless the last 24 hours Someone took her picture and put off and put that uh what's her name from uh, Zootopia next to it. The rabbit? Yes. Judy. Because because what are because what are rabbits known for, for doing? Reproducing at mass levels. Yes! So they put Officer Jenny, I think that's what her name is, Officer Jenny or Judy. Jenny, Officer, Officer Judy. Judy Officer Jenny's Pokemon. Officer Judy next to her picture. And I'm just uh, like, oh my god. And what is the name of the of the Facebook page? Birds, spelled with a U, birds are real. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. When right, she please. tells you when she tells you not tonight, babe, I really took a pounding at work today and her husband it just zooms in her husband's face. Like, what did the fuck did you just say? Okay, please so we shut down. Laughing. Enough to finally get our cargo platform moving. Better be. Okay, let's <laughs> go back to the H1 sign. I just love Piss Baby Cloud. It's like, mm. yeah, me too. I hope that Jesse's injury isn't anything serious. The best thing you can do to speed her recovery is to kick Shinra ass in her stead. I know, I know. And Cloud's got a cover for Wedge too. He's like a gladium, but yeah. Like, mm. all, all it's missing is the pouty face. Like, just mm. that's, that's all it's Cloud's, missing. That's that's Cloud's face all the time. I know, but <laughs> it's just it's missing. It's missing the ideal. Anyway, uh, what the hell is going on here? Um, I, I know I saved as one of my reaction uh, pictures when uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake first came out. It's, it's like from the very beginning of the game where they're in the elevator. It's just him crossing his arms saying, get help. We ought to reach him long before he dies aboard. All right. There right? Unless there's another section of lamps I'm forgetting about. <laughs> Auxiliary power supply confirmed. Reactivating cargo platform. I'll put this in the in the chat for you to check out later. Cargo platform activated. For video video game screenshots out of context. Are you sure you would go down that path again after what happened last year? What, 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 what path? Do you remember what happened the last time you went down that rabbit hole? What, video game screenshots out of context? Yes. Did oh, you forget already? Wait, wait, yeah, I kind of did. Me but, through a stinky oh, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you. you want to go grab it? Fuck off. <laughs> Get fucked. Go fuck your ass. Do something. <laughs> fuck your own ass. Fuck some <laughs> some other form of ass. Fuck you. There's some material that caught your eye. You want to go grab it? Nah. Nah. No time. I'll get it on my other playthrough. 
Yeah, John, get fucked. Fuck your own ass. Fuck somebody else's ass. Fuck it. Fuck it, ass love that's sitting on a ham in Greenland. I don't know. Do something that way. <laughs> but go fuck your ass. <laughs> God, fuck I wish I could. Fuck your ass. I wish I could. Hear that, guys? It's the reactor call. Back in the nuts, say. <laughs> cheese lover. I consider cheese the greatest gift to man and, and dedicate my life to eating it. <laughs> Damn it. I need Barrett because he's the only one who can hit these damn things. <laughs> Video game screenshots out of context. Try asking Chinese people about Chinese. <laughs> what? Where is that from? I don't know, but... It looks like PS2-like. Oh, I, oh I know what that is. I know what that is. That's Shenmue. Shenmue. That was a Dreamcast game. That's hammy, that's hammy enough of a line to be, uh, oh, great. To be fair, I died a lot on this in my original playthrough, too. This wield, part sucks. Wield the sword. It bends to your will from Xenoblade 1. And, of course, it shows a naked shulk. Yeah, him, him in the booty shorts. Yes, with the sword. Because, like, any co any costume you can wear in the game, uh, it's, uh, you can, you can wear it in the cutscenes. Jesus Christ! Fucking hell! It's on you. Taking over. I got this. Like everybody like salvoed their fucking bombs at Barrett. It's like, oh no, not that asshole. Come on, man, if you had a guard of war like mine, you'd have done it too. What? Oh, I I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like do that. I. I do I. Don't say stuff like that, man. Keep it together. No wonder you're in jail. That's like one of those. That's like one of those things where, like, when you see the comments, it's like, "So what you in for?" And they, they tell them what to do, and you and you scoot down the bed and the, and the, the cell. Didn't they, make a video game, didn't they make a video game of the um, of the shitty Dragon Ball movie? Which one? The oh, oh yeah, the live action one. Yeah, they made a they made, they made a fighting game for the PSP. Okay, because they have a screenshot from that, and it says Goku, and it says, This birthday sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I will hack your bank account if you don't go out with me. <laughs> and of course, Rox is talking to Zexion. Roxas, you and I, you and I and all the organization members are, are what we call nobodies. Roxas, well, that's not very nice. Yeah, I remember that line. That was one of the ones we didn't play. Oh, you'll love this one. So how tall is Bowser? Bowser is only four feet tall, judging by Luigi's penis. <laughs> hey, you sent that to everybody, and then we just didn't know what to say. <laughs> I expected you to, to cry from laughing. Cause it's like, it's like, oh, we didn't know that Bowser's only four feet tall. How do we know? Just look at Luigi's penis. <laughs> and I don't want to look at it, no. <laughs> That's how we figured out that Luigi is certainly more hung than Mario. <laughs> but yet Mario, yet Mario gets all the princesses. Hmm. Why do you think, why do you think Luigi's the tall one? Hmm. <laughs> no, that's why he's dating Daisy. 
This is true. This is why he's dating Daisy. So cold, maybe I can warm up by punching the crap out of this ice block. <laughs> So the wisest saying from Pascal from um, Pascal from Animal Crossing. Love is one of those complicated things that only experts say they understand, and they're always sad. Okay, so that's the only one I can hit. So is Barrett did it. Barrett's dead again. How is he dead again? Well, they probably all like hit him with like the salvo of uh, miss missiles Still again. Uh, take it from here. Oh God damn it, Sai! You would definitely say that. It must be nice being a character in a game. You can dress as crazy as you want. That's from Dot Hack. Nah, I still need to play those. Those are good games. Actually, they uh, they didn't remaster the original trilogy. They remastered the second trilogy. Yeah, which is which is why I ha which is why I haven't started them yet. So I'm like, no, I want to play the first ones. Hurry up. My pet crab went for a swim in the sea. I'm just here waiting for him to come back so he can go home. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucked up! Ah, finally. God damn. Big should be waiting for us up ahead. He's probably going to Alright, there's like a multi-use button. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Press open chat to open chat. Russia is located in Russia. Shoot to shoot the shotgun. <laughs> and uh, what's that one from? Those are just random. Those are literally from different games. Um, I, uh, press open chat to open chat is from Minecraft. Russia is located in Russia. I think that might be... Civilization? Yeah, Civilization. And shoot to shoot the shotgun, I think it's from Halo. Yeah, you gotta love what it tells you. Open chat to open the chat. Russia is located in Russia. And shoot to shoot the shotgun. Probably have cameras everywhere. Why didn't you say something sooner? Way too late to bail now. It's like walking a tightrope when you're on it. I have dedicated my entire life to the art of upskirt photography. I'm not letting my work end here. I'll do whatever it takes to escape. Hear me? You missed a good Barrett quote. It's like, it's, it's, yeah, it's like that. Some uh, job like this is like walking on a tightrope. When once you're on, there's only two ways off. Uh, well, hang on. It actually froze for me. It's nothing. It fro it froze for me. So, uh, uh, Bear basically said, when, uh, when it comes to stuff like this, there's it's like walking on a tightrope. Once you're on, there's only two ways off. Yeah, there's only two ways off. You either get across, you fall. And you should know who this is, John. I've dedicated my entire life to the art of upskirt photography. I'm not letting my work end here. I'll do whatever it takes to escape. Hear me? You should know who that is. Hmm. Starting a blank. It's from the Akaza, the Akaza series. <laughs> oh, that might be from a substory we didn't play. Wait, Cloud. You know, Oguro? Again, we, like after a certain point, we didn't play all the substories. Oh. Uh, Top side's going nuts after some terrorists jumped off a train. Nice and quiet here, though. So quiet, I had no trouble securing your route into Don't the forget, mountain. if we see Wedge again, it's Badger from Breaking Bad. Son of a bitch. Bring it in. So, where are the Come others? On, <laughs> Jesse got hurt and couldn't make it. Bad? <laughs> Not so bad she couldn't rope in this guy. Thanks for stepping up. It's a job. Worked out pretty good. You picking that train you did. While Shinra scours Sector 4, you can waltz right on into Sector 5. It's a bit of a squeeze, but it ought to get you where you need to go. A little dark and foreboding for my taste. Beggars can't be choosers. Oh, and you'll be needing your grappling guns, of course. All set? Ready to take on the world and then some. Make sure everyone gets clear, okay? Will do. Okay, y'all. 
Keep these grappling guns close. Secure them to your belt or whatever so you don't lose them. When we're done, we'll be using these babies to get down safe. All of us. Got it. <laughs> Chapter 7! A trap is sprung. We're making our way downtown on this. Quickly now, quickly! I know this song way too this well. Place reeks of Marco. Looks like we made it. All right, so we're done with the sun lamp shit. Good. Same as reactor one. Yeah, we're near Marco storage. So the line that you would have missed, Just Barrett there. was gonna sing. <laughs> what? Which one was that? The line, the line that we, I was uh, hoping Barrett would uh, do while we were doing the Sunland thing. Uh, if you went on long enough, he would start singing to try to lighten the mood. Oh. Uh, but uh, we, we, didn't, we didn't get it, so we, unfortunately we're not going to hear it. He, I'm pretty sure he only does it in the Sunland area. My name is Eugene Chaud, the greatest net battler alive. I beg to differ, then beg. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, get ready for that when when um when we get to that in yep. April. Kind of scary. Yep, I would like to finish this before then. I think we can do it though. I think so. We're already on chapter seven. And there's uh seventeen or eighteen chapters. And look how quickly we got to do it. Look how look how quickly we got through two today. <laughs> now, John, you you better back that up. Uh, did you just say seventeen or eighteen chapters? No more than that. And we're on the. We just started the seventh. Where is everybody? That's a lot of ch chapters, there, John. We're probably gonna get to. Rich, we're probably gonna get to the eighth one like in like in an hour or two. I thought this entire thing we were doing was chapter five, but I'm wrong. We're we started on chapter five, and then we got to seven or six, and then we're on seven. We're on seven now. The cool boss fight I would mention will be the end of seven, and that's coming up. Kelpie, what do you think? The options. We're going to go party. You're going to join me. I'm going to get you horny. <laughs> the what, demons... happened to your what happened to your Disney story? I know. I I've been getting sidetracked. Hang on. The demon's gaze fell to your conspicuous... Conspicuously blank groin. The demon left laughing their head off. <laughs> Alright, so... Back to Monday. Um, so we got up early, walked right over to Epcot, and we went right into the worlds. So um, the first thing we did was the Ratatouille ride. Oh yeah, that wasn't that wasn't there when I was uh, was that there yet. So we did the Ratatouille. We did we did uh, Remy's Ratatouille experience. Um, but it was cute. It was like basically you were like you know like a little like 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 Ratatouille. So, um, and what's cool is like you're you know you're walking in, um, you know you got like the whole layout. Oh, what was really cool too was the the like like the area in France since it was in France. Um, like it had the whole layout of like like the rat like like. Chef Rem, like Chef Gusteau's. I'm, so, I'm sorry, Chef Gusteau's. Yep. Um, that was really cool. So we did that first thing in the morning on Monday. Um, then, 
then, um... So we did that, and what was cool about it was, it's like a world, it's like you're in a, you're obviously in a, you know, little, like, ride around cart, but it's like, it's on a, it, it's obviously on, it's not on a track or anything. Um, so, and the way that the, that the ride works, like, it's definitely got like that four, like that 3D, 4D animation style. Um, so like you feel like you're like like you're on top of the roof and you fall through the window of the skylight it makes you feel like you're falling through the window mm -hmm. but you're not really like diving deep or anything or like when you when you crawl under the oven you can actually feel the heat above you from the oven um, yeah i love stuff like that yeah so that was really cool um then we went, oh, and we had to wait for our queue. We had to wait for our queue for the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. Uh-huh. So we had time to kill. So, cause we weren't, cause that was the cool thing about the, uh, about the fast pass or genie pass. You know, because they know that that ride gets packed a lot. They actually have a queue. And as long as you're, as long as you're there by a certain time, you'll be able to get in ahead of everybody else. So, so we were like, okay, we had some time to kill, so we went over to Soren. Uh, well, at first we were gonna go over to Test Track, but Test Track got really crowded very fast. Yeah, it's a popular uh, one. And Test Track is by far one of my most favorites. So, so we were like, okay, let's go over to Soren. Oh, by the way, I also did stop and get my Disney my Disney churros. I got my churros. Oh yeah, those are good. Yes, they are very good. So, um, so of course I didn't do Soren because again my weak ass and hating heights. So um, I wasn't gonna do that. So I was like, okay, I wait outside, wait outside for a while, and then um, and then it became time to go on the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. So we went, and oh my God, John, that ride was fucking amazing. Yeah, and you were on the you were on the holiday overlay. Yeah, like it was the holiday oh, remix. Yeah, so all the all the songs were all holiday were all holiday. Yep. My my brother, my older brother, was like, "Man, I was really hoping to hear the the old school stuff." I said, "No, they do it based on the holidays." Yeah, I mean, this was the, the, that ride opened last year, and that was so you were on the very first uh, holiday overlay. Yeah, so it resets to normal in January, so right. it already has reset. Right. So, but the ride was so fucking awesome, John. Oh my god! And I'm not one for roller coasters. You know me. I am not one for roller coasters. But holy fuck! But holy fuck, was it You're awesome? There still? I'm. Oh man, can you hear me? Did I lose you again? <sighs> I there. There we go again. Fucking bullshit. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. Let me just make sure everything's good. Okay. Whew. Okay. All right. That word. Okay. So anyway, um, yes, the Guardians of the Galaxy ride was fucking amazing. I'm so glad I mustered up the church the courage. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck's going on? Cloud's having flashbacks to uh, a previous scene from his memories. What's funny, I just saw this in Crisis Core last night. Is that Tifa? Yeah. Soldier boy. She wore a cowboy uh, uh, outfit in the past. Because like uh, Cloud has a lot of like Mako infused in his cells, so like, when you get closer to a uh, reactor, one, you get closer to a reactor, you're like in, like had like a high contact with it. Number two, uh, his he has. Uh, Traumatic memories of being near a reactor. How much time? Let's try that again. Got all the time in the world. 
This one comes with a remote detonator. Courtesy of Jesse. We withdraw to a safe distance. Then, kaboom! Safe distance? What? No such thing? <laughs> we get out the same way we got in. Let's double back. Did you plant the bomb already? Yeah. Just make sure you did. I'm going back just in case. <sighs> yeah, they did it in the cutscene. Okay. So anyway, um, the Guardians of the Galaxy ride was fucking amazing. Um, so then, after the Guardians of the Galaxy ride, uh, we decided to... Oh, that's when we had our reservation at the restaurant at Mexico in the Worlds. So... We doubled back and we went to the Worlds. And luckily, you know, Mexico is like the second country over, so... Yep. Uh, coming from, you know, the main Epcot uh, area, so... So, we got over there. I forget the name of the restaurant. It's called... I think it's called Azteca or something. I forget. Yes, I think so. Yeah, so that was where... Oh, and they had Coco-themed uh, items on the menu at, at the restaurant. Um... Because I got this really awesome. Right now, you command the undivided attention of every soul in Midgar. Huh? What is this? Breaking news from Mako Reactor 5. Shinra has confirmed the reactor to be the target of the bomb threat issued by the terrorist group Avalanche. <laughs> Members of the group were observed entering the facility, and security is currently sweeping it for explosive devices. We now go live to the scene. Ah, uh, they got got. Having confirmed the terrorist target, the Shinra Emergency Operations Center has issued an evacuation advisory. Residents are outraged that the tragedy of Mako Reactor 1 was only the first attack in a campaign of violence. President Shinra has issued a statement providing assurances that the terrorists will soon be brought to justice. And so. To a people beset by chaos and uncertainty, we will our finest comfort, bread and service. The big boy, I give you Sidra's latest triumph of technology. The Air Buster, your executioner. Engineering on the line. Currently, the Airbuster is only 60% operational. The estimates were optimistic. I'm on air! <clears throat> to the imbecile in charge down there. You are here by order to seize those intruders and bring them to me. Come quietly and there'll be trouble! Anyway, um, so then we double back and we went to the restaurant in Mexico. Uh, the, I think it's called Azteca or something. Um, and of course they had they had uh, items on the menu that are, that were themed from Coco. So um, I got this really amazing drink. It was like a it was like a, a like a smoothie or slushy, but it was you know just filled with alcohol. Um, I think it was called the Blood Moon or something. I forget or, or something like that. I forget. But um, so it was really good. We I had like nachos and like I know I had nachos and queso dip there. Um, that sounds delightful right about now. So because like I wasn't really feeling the oh I did have. I had this, it was a cinch, uh, what was it? It was like a, it was like a chicken, it was like a chicken flatbread, but it wasn't called a flatbread, it was called like, um, it wasn't a taco either, or no, it wasn't a taco. I forget, but it was really good. It was really freaking good. Um, and me, and you know me, John, I'm a very picky eater, like very, very, very picky. But like, I really opened up my palate this time 
when I went down there to Disney, I was like, yeah. you know what? Let me take the opportunity to really taste some cool stuff. Um. No, 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 hell no. Listen, they want to turn this into a spectacle? Then I say let's give them one. Let's take down Shinra's big ass mech in front of everybody. Okay, I'm sorry. Subdue the insurgents and bring them to the command center immediately. I repeat. <laughs> Crush your, crush your sold. He's being paid for this, after all. Attention, all security forces. Hmm, Rich, do you think this would be a good spot point to stop? Because we have a boss fight coming up. Yeah, we're gonna, and this ought to be a good way to stop so that I can, um, so I don't ruin the rest of my story. Yeah, uh, we, next time on the Super Bonus Round, we have a major boss fight coming up. And we'll finish off chapter seven of the game. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. See ya.